It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tally here. My country right now is having the strangest debate. Of course, the most pressing issue of the day is should people who are white voice black characters in cartoons? It has been an honor to play Cleveland on Family Guy for 20 years. I love this character, but persons of color should play characters of color. Therefore, I'll be stepping down from the role. Jenny Slate says that she will no longer voice Missy on Netflix Big Mouth. Black characters on animated show should be played by black people. The Simpsons will no longer have white actors voice non-white characters, producers say. Hashtag Bojack Horseman, Allison Brie regrets voicing Asian American character. There's just so much nonsense to just cover in one video. So here's my personal list on why this whole entire controversy is just pure stupidity. Number one, this whole entire controversy is a form of discrimination. This controversy is a form of discrimination because it's practically telling an entire group of people that they cannot get their job just because they're a certain skin color. And the field of voice acting, the most important aspect of that whole entire field is whether or not you actually fit the voice. Now, I don't honestly care if a white guy was a black guy, if a black guy was a white guy, or blah, 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 blah. Because honestly, what matters the most in that field is whether or not you fit that character. So telling a person, hey, you cannot play that character just because you're white, that to me is actually more racist than someone actually providing a voice for the character. Not to mention, going by that same sort of logic, should women who play males not play males because they're women? Should people who play dogs not play dogs because they're not real dogs? Should people who play airplanes not play airplanes because they're not airplanes? Come on guys, this is ridiculous. This line of reasoning would not get anybody any type of job whatsoever. Ever. Number two, this view is stupid because it's very much America-centric. Pretty much most people in the English-speaking world watch our cartoons in the original language. And of course, that includes Americans. Oh, say can you see? Oh, say can you see? But, of course, we import our cartoons to different parts of the world, which means sometimes the cartoons, they get dubbed into a different language, or sometimes they have subtitles just depending on the countries. So most of the cases, when international people watch our cartoons for the very first time, they don't watch it in English, they watch it in their own language. Like for example, an American cartoon will be dubbed into German, or an American cartoon will be dubbed into French or Spanish or Japanese or whatever. And obviously, they rely on the local talent to voice those characters and those languages. So let's say, for example, we have like a black character in an American cartoon and it's being dubbed over in Japan. Should we tell that Japanese person they cannot voice that black character because they're not black, even though like Japan has like a majority Japanese population? No. So why should we, you know, force our views our sensibilities onto other countries when in reality not every single country is as diverse or whatever like our country. That does not make any sense from that standpoint either. The final point for this video is also the question of availability for actors. As everybody who's probably a voice actor knows, the whole entire industry is very, very very competitive. You have actors and actresses trying out for roles 
and they have to go to audition to audition audition to audition to actually finally get their roles. It could be something for anime. It could be cartoons. Somehow, somewhere, they get the job. And from there on out, they'll build upon that reputation to actually go to different projects. Or sometimes they participate in fan projects to actually get notice. For example, there's a course like Team Four Star. They have like Dragon Ball Bridge. But also, as of lately, they produce professional doves because they actually got recognition because of hard work and determination. So, other words, like it's really, really hard to actually find actors because it's so competitive. And it's also a question, of course, like, you know, personal wants. Like, probably there are some black people who do not want to be voice actors, or sometimes like the people who are voice actors who are black want different roles. So also it kind of depends upon the available like the availability, excuse me, and also how people want to choose like the roles if they want to have it or not. But anyway, those are the three points I want to make about this video. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend I wouldn't <laughs> trade him for another black friend Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler